In this EPM nugget, we will look at access tokens in Windows and how the CyberArk EPM agent works with them. When a user logs on to a Windows endpoint, the system produces an access token that contains the identity, groups, and privileges of the user at the point in time that they are logged in. If the user is added or removed from a group after logon, this will not be reflected in their access token until the next logon. Every application and process that the user executes creates an exact copy of this access token. The Run as Different User feature deviates from this process slightly by creating a new access token for the selected application, containing the identity, groups, and privileges of the user account that was used to authenticate the Run as Different User. And this will pass to all child processes of that application. This is a popular option for support staff who want to perform administrative tasks without having to log off the user they are assisting. Access tokens expire when the associated application or process ends, and the session access token, which was created at log on, expires when the session ends. Access tokens exist within the confines of the endpoint that they were created. They do not pass over the network and cannot be used to start processes on other endpoints. When EPM is installed and the user is operating with a standard user account, applications and processes are evaluated as they are launched. In the case that elevation is approved, the EPM agent modifies the associated access token for that application or process with administrative groups and privileges in real time. In addition, the policy also determines if the child processes can inherit the token or if they need to be independently evaluated against other policies. It is this capability to dynamically modify access tokens that makes EPM elevation policies superior to adding and removing users from the administrator's group using just-in-time processes. Out of the box, EPM has templates for the modifications needed for an administrator power user and standard user token. In addition, you can create custom tokens. Custom tokens allow you to selectively modify groups, privileges, ownership, and integrity levels to limit the application to operating with the least amount of privilege. By default, Elevate policies will use the administrator token template, but you can change this by expanding the user access token section of the policy and selecting the preferred token from the drop-down list. We hope you found this EPM nugget on access tokens informative, and we would like to thank you for watching.